Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am going to be sharing with you today my favorites for the month of May. I definitely want to keep up with doing monthly favorites every single month and hopefully not miss a month, but I feel like every time I turn around, it's like it's here again to do another monthly favorites. So it's just crazy to me. But anyway, I'm going to share with you some things. I have a few things here, not a whole lot. So hopefully we can get through this pretty quickly. But um, I just wanted to share with you guys some things I really enjoy throughout the month of May. And of course, I'm still enjoying going now into June. So I hope you guys enjoy this and decide to subscribe and stick around. And so let's just go ahead and jump right in. All right, first up is a blush and it's MAC Peaches. I have it in my little palette here. It's this one right here. It's just a beautiful peach blush and I think it's perfect really year round but I especially love it in like spring and summer because it just gives like that really warm nice peachy glow to your cheeks and I'm really into the the peachiness right now I'm not sure where I can put this where you can see hopefully you can kind of see that there but I'm sure you've probably heard of MAC peaches before um, a lot of people use it and love it a lot of people's favorite and for good reason because it's just a really really nice beautiful color and so this is basically all the only blush really I've been wearing I don't know for the past several months has been peaches by Mac so if you don't already own it I definitely recommend that you go out and get it and I love having it in this little palette I don't have a whole lot in here right now but this one's Melba that I do like too and then I have just some of my purple Mac eyeshadows but Peaches right now is definitely my go-to blush. All right, next up is another like face product. And I got this right when it launched. So I've had it for, I don't even know when it launched, maybe for like a couple years or so. Um, but I think it's beautiful and I used it quite a bit and haven't even made a dent in it. And um, I'll go back and use different products. And then um, here recently though, I've pulled this back out and have been reaching for this every single day or whenever I decide to put makeup on not always every day but when I do wear makeup I've been using this as my highlighter it's the Becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop so it was the Becca collaboration with Jaclyn Hill who is a very popular makeup artist here on YouTube it's just it's gorgeous another favorite of a lot of people um, to me it's got that you know just really shimmery more of like a goldeny highlight but I just think it's absolutely stunning hopefully you can kind of see that catching the light there I'm filming in my daughter's room because she just has really nice natural light um, on this side of the house. So anyway, I need to get, I need to invest in some lighting. Hopefully soon I can. But anyway, I just love this Champagne Pop highlighter. I think it's so beautiful. And with that MAC Peaches blush, the ni nice peach, you know, um, tone on my cheek. And then this color with that Peaches blush, this on the top. I do have both on today. I'm not sure if you can really tell okay continuing on with beauty products face products um, this has also been out for I don't even know a few years at least it's the wet and wild mega glow contouring palette in the Dolce de Leche Dolce de Leche I think it's really nice um, I actually recommended this to my sister-in-law I don't know two or three years ago and I have just been on the hunt for um, just some a different contouring powder and I've tried different things but I really do like the shade of the contour here it's not too warm and not too cool toned so I do really enjoy that a lot I think it does really nice as a contour on my skin tone and I like this creamy um, you know light kind of banana -y shade and I've been kind of putting that under my eyes after I put my concealer to kind of set that and to brighten a little bit under my eyes and so I think this is really, really good. And only for just a few bucks, I got this at Walmart. I mean, you know that Wet n Wild is like very inexpensive. So um, I think for what it is and definitely for the price, um, you really can't go wrong. You get like a good size pan of each of those. So if you haven't tried that, this one out, definitely go and grab this. Okay, and one more item for like a face product is this NYX Matte Bronzer. I have it in medium. Um, I think I showed this in a haul recently. And I wasn't sure of the color. Now, definitely, this is, um, to me, this feels, this seems like really warm, like kind of a reddish undertone. Um, so I just use this just to bronze, just to kind of all over 
warm up my face, bronze my face. I, I do really like the undertone of this and how it just really warms up my skin. Um, it really, when I put it on, to me, when I look in the mirror, it, it just, it looks like I have been out in the sun and the way my skin would naturally look if I was getting a little bit of a tan. So I do really enjoy this a lot. Okay, another product that I've had for quite a while and love is this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. It's like your little pressed things in this little, these little containers. I'm sure you've all seen these. This is an Amber Rush and it's just so incredibly gorgeous. So I've been on like this bronzy, just shimmery, bronzy glow look um, here recently and I just think, I don't know, if you haven't like tried these out before, they're really good and they really do stay put and they just look so beautiful on the eye. Um, and I have hazel eyes and this color definitely brings out my eye color, especially the green in my eye. It's just so, so beautiful. So it's, I'm kind of getting all, so here's Amber Rush, this, and then that Champagne Pop was in the middle, and then the Peaches Blush. So I guess maybe you can kind of see all these together is what I've been using for like um, face and eyes and stuff. <laughs> I've just really been liking the look of all these together. A really nice bronzy summery glow. I've really been digging it. Next up is this uh, Sonia Kashuk Makeup Brush Cleansing Spray in the rose water scent and oh it smells so so good and it really does work really well with cleansing your brushes really quickly so i just sprayed a little bit on the bristles and just wiped them on a paper towel and it took the color the pigment out right out of my brush like immediately it left my brushes smelling really nicely and they felt conditioned as well. I think this size bottle was only $5 at Target and they do have like a bigger bottle that was like $10. Okay, next up are some home scents. Um, they are both from Bath & Body Works and if you don't already know, the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale is going on right now. I think until like the um, beginning of July. So I think you, you have several weeks worth of being able to take part in that sale. I hope that I'm not getting that wrong. But, but anyway, so right now is like the perfect time to go and stock up on some of your favorite Bath & Body Works products. So this is a wallflower. It's in the Eucalyptus Mint scent. And you can see it's already half gone. And I just pulled it out of my wallflower a minute ago out of the wall <laughs> to show you guys. I don't want to bring the whole thing in here. But anyway, this is so good. It's in my wallflower that's plugged into my dining room that's right off the front door. So when people come in, this is like the first thing that they smell. I have bought a bunch of different wallflowers, kind of buying them in bulk when they go on a good sale and I get a coupon or whatever. And um, I kind of enjoy every month when the scent runs out to replace it and just try different scent every month. So if you're looking for a new scent, a really good scent, a fre it's really fresh. It smells so good. It's eucalyptus mint and um, definitely take advantage of the sale, the Bath & Body Works sale that's going on right now and maybe pick you up a couple of these. Alright, the next step from Bath & Body Works is a candle. I showed this in a haul. I think it may have been the last um, big sale they did. I knew I wanted to pick up um, some candles and scents that were for like summertime, like spring and summer. And this was one of the scents that I got back then. It's Shades of Summer Suntan. Uh, and oh, it smells so good. My husband is not like too big on his smells and stuff. He doesn't really care what scents I have burning or what wallflowers I have on my wall. You know, he might every once in a while be like, Do you, can you smell that? Does it smell nice? And he's like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um, but I had this burning one day and he came in the house and he was like, I love that. What is that? And I was like, it's my candle that's burning in the bathroom. And he was like, oh, that smells so, so good. I really like that candle. So for him to like make it a point to tell me how much he liked this, I know it's really good. I'm so glad he liked it because I really liked it. And it kind of, it smells, it's a suntan. It smells like you have just put sunscreen on your body and you're laying on the beach. And I love that smell. Some people may not like that smell of sunscreen or, you know, what have you, but it's like a sweet sunscreen smell. And to me, it just smells like being on the beach. And I was like, and that's exactly what he said. He said, yeah, it just makes me feel like I'm, I could be laying on the beach right now. Like that's the smell. So, you know, smells are heavily tied to memories. Um, so when I smell this, that's what I think of is the beach and I cannot wait to go. So this is so good. If you're looking for a really good candle right now to go buy, um, to use all throughout summertime, 
definitely try this one out and I don't think you'll be disappointed it's really good so it has it says it has orange blossoms bright citrus and soft coconut husk total beach this is the beach in a jar right here all right next up I shared this in a haul and I told you you know getting ready for my sister-in-law's wedding I had to buy different things to be in her wedding because I was a bridesmaid and I definitely wanted some kind of shapewear to wear underneath my um, bridesmaid's dress and I picked up these from Target so it says assets and I guess it's by the Spanx brand I think we all know that Spanx they do a great job with shapewear and I really like the coverage of these so it comes up pretty high like right under your chest and then it goes down like to like, your top of your thighs so it's gonna you know get any kind of rolls or tummy issues you have your love handles your bottom and into your top of your thighs so it does cover a lot and it really holds you in nicely they were very comfortable to wear and it, they just really sucked everything in and I think that it like, you know, made everything look nice under my dress there were no like weird bulges it didn't roll down at all um, so I definitely do recommend these I want to say they are like 23 or 24 dollars at Target so I think that's a pretty good deal for how well these performed and I have these on for like the whole day <laughs> and they were very very comfortable to wear so I do like that so if you're looking for some good shapewear go to Target and check these out so next up are some green pants that are from Walmart they are the time and true brand I shared these in my time and true shop with me and haul video and I really have been enjoying these they're very lightweight so they're perfect to wear right now in the summertime um, I am very tall I'm about 5'11 so they come maybe a little bit higher than what they're supposed to um, on me but I actually like that more because I may want to wear these with like my gladiator sandals and I wanted them to be a little bit higher I don't want them to do like super long pants or anything so take that into consideration if you're much shorter than I am that they will hit you longer than what they do on me but I like that they are around ankle length just because of wearing them with sandals or if I want to wear them with some kind of slip-on shoe um, I like that they're a little bit shorter on me so that's it for like the products and things I can hold up and show you I do have two more favorites um, that I want to talk to you about and they are both TV shows so I'm just gonna kind of chit chat with you about those really quickly okay so the first show I'm going to talk to you about is called Riverdale and I think it's kind of loosely based at least the characters or anyway um, off the Archie comics and I don't remember a whole lot about the Archie comics but um, I did recognize the Riverdale name I guess and um, the characters names so there's Archie Betty Veronica and Jughead so I'm sure some of those names may you know sound familiar from those comics to you but it's on the CW and at first I was like whatever it's like a bunch of high school kids I'm in my 30s like it's probably gonna be like way too young immature like not really what I would really go for in a show but I was folding laundry one day in my bedroom and there's nothing else really on that I wanted to watch and that I just kept seeing that so I was like whatever I'll just click on it and give it a try and see if not you know I can just turn it right back off um, but I was like kind of drawn in immediately and I was really surprised by that but I think they did a really good job with this show even you know the characters being quite young I do still like the way they developed the characters and just the kind of I guess um, twists and turns in the show and it starts off with a murder and you're like um, okay um, it's a little bit cheesy here and there especially with their blatant cover girl ads they throw in there like they have a cover girl like cosmetics and I'm just like right in the camera like right in your face you can definitely tell that it's like cover girl has put some money into this so um that's kind of cheesy and weird but overall I really enjoyed this show and I've seen I think every single episode now I like it let me know if you like it too but yeah it has like Luke Perry back from 902 and 0 back in my day when I was younger um, Molly Ringwald so anyway there are some characters that you'll, like, you'll recognize from other things kind of heartthrobs and stuff from years past so it's kind of cool to bring that generation into this newer generation okay and last is another TV show like I said it is a um, 
reality TV show and it's called Southern Charm. It is based in Charleston, South Carolina, which is not very far from here at all. Um, I've never been to Charleston actually, but I do really want to go to Charleston because I've heard nothing but good things about it from people that I know. And now with this show, you kind of seeing more what's there. Um, it just looks like such a beautiful, nice place. And I started watching Southern Charm and just fell in love with so many people on that show, especially Cameron. She is so beautiful and she's just like the spunkiest, like funniest little thing. She cracks me up. She reminds me of some of my girlfriends um, that I knew back in like middle school and high school. She reminds me of one girl in particular and I'm just like, I feel like I know her because she just seems just like one of my good friends from like middle school and high school. But anyway, I just love the cast and I love the down home Southern feel of it. You know, definitely a Georgia girl. They do. Um, Shep graduated from the University of Georgia, so he, he mentions that. And they do like I guess go to Georgia for like a couple of things here and there. Um, and then just because it's kind of close to where we are, um, it's kind of relatable. And then, uh, but it's kind of how like the privileged in that area live. So it's kind of neat to see like where they came from, like. Um, I guess how they are, maybe like the social scene of Charleston if you were gonna go visit there that you may not really know about or see unless you maybe you're from there or you live there or what have you. But it's, it's really cool to see this city and not just that, but Hilton, they go to Hilton Head as well because there's two character or two um, cast members, I guess, or two people on the show that are from Hilton Head. So it's kind of cool to see that as well and just the down home feel of the show in general that just that overall southern hospitality southern charm southern vibe from this show i really do like it and i'm definitely like really hooked into it now especially this last season i just watched um the last episode when it aired a few days ago and this season is like really really good and i am definitely hooked on it so if you have not watched Southern Charm yet, I highly recommend that show. So anyway, again, check out Riverdale, definitely check out Southern Charm. And all these other products that I showed, like the face products, the Bath and Body Works scents, definitely check out all these things. Like I said, they've been my favorites here for a while. Some of them have been like oldies and then brought back as um, favorites again. So you know it's good when you can enjoy it years ago and then like start using it again and love it just as much as you did initially so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this uh let me know below in the comments what are some of your recent favorites or something that you really enjoyed all throughout the month of may and now here going into june i would love to know or you know just any other tv shows or bath and body works since now that the sale is going on just anything that you can think of that you would like to recommend in the comments so I can read them and other people can read them and we can kind of help each other out with um, some really good things. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you and talk to you very soon. Thank you. Bye.